Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Let me begin by congratulating Malaysia Institute of Defense and Security, MITAS, and CARS for organizing this conference and for according me the honor of delivering the keynote address for the MITAS CARS conference 2019. The theme, Humanitarian Resistance and Disaster Relief, HABR, a shared responsibility, is an echo to the One ASEAN, One Response Declaration in 2016. This conference shows Malaysia's continued commitment and support towards providing assistance and relief in time of needs. I would also like to express my heartfelt gratitude towards Germany's interest and invaluable support to HDBR efforts and most importantly in supporting this conference organized by MIDAS and CAS. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia has been involved actively in HDBR through regional consecutive group on humanitarian civil military coordination for Asia and the Pacific, ASEAN Regional Forum, Conference of the Parties to the ASEAN Agreement on Disaster Management and Emergency Response, ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting ADMM, and ADMM Plus under the ambit of ASEAN Security Political Committee Pillar. This mechanism that I just mentioned are evidence of successful defense cooperation. cooperation. They also assist to develop interoperability by enhancing set reserves, capability and capacity through collaboration with like-minded parties, like-minded partners by way of bilateral, multilateral and regional cooperation which is one of the three pillars of Malaysia's defense strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, disaster, whether it's natural or man-made, is unpredictable and the after effect are horrific and may take years to recover. What is more challenging today is that the frequency of disasters has risen comparably since 2015. Last year alone, the total number of natural disasters was about 417, more than double from 2017, which were around 203 disasters. Malaysia is geographically located just outside the Pacific Room of Fire. However, the perception that Malaysia is safe from severe natural disaster is no longer incorrect. In recent years, our exposure to climate-related hazards has intensified due to the impacts of climate change. In December 2014, Malaysia faced its worst monsoon flood in history, affecting several states, with Kelantan being the worst, the worst in. The disaster affected by 141,896 people nationwide, and the government had to pay RM 2.58 billion ringgit in losses. By far, it was the most challenging experience for the nation. Based on the limited of the flood and the sheer number of victims, as well as the amount of damage caused to infrastructure. In recent times, Malaysia was forced to review it vulnerable to earthquake disasters following the 5.9 magnitude earthquake in Ranau, Sabah on 5 June. 2015, in which 18 mountain climbers died on the Mount Kinabalu. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia has always had all countries in name. Most of Malaysia's humanitarian assistance at the regional and international level was done in the context of bilateral relations, either through direct financial contribution or in kind. Apart from this, Malaysia also dispatched its special Malaysian disaster assistance and rescue team SMART on relief mission to various disaster stricken, stricken places. For example, in 2005, during the aftermath of the Aceh 
tsunami in 2009 pada Sumatra Oskek and 2013 Typhoon Hanyan in Philippines. Regionally, we witnessed earthquake tragedies in Wombok, Indonesia on 29 July 2018, which affected thousands of lives, including Malaysia. Following that, we also saw Indonesia existing Papua province being hit by a flash flood that left at least 50 dead and 59 injured. Shockingly, earlier this month, a massive rainstorm caused a flash flood in Luang Prabang, with nearly 400 families being affected by the floods. Taking into account these events, I am proud to state that the humanitarian resistance and disaster relief HDR initiative has been incorporated into ADM plus structure, serving as a collective contribution of the mine sector toward Rima's original security architecture. The ADM plus expert working group on HDR have been very instrumental in ensuring practical cooperation among the military in the region together with the rest of ADM plus members countries. On capacity and capability building, the aim is for better coordination and interoperability among the member countries in the in HDR operations. In seeking for better coordination and interoperability across the region, Malaysia initiated and advocated the formation of the ASEAN Military Ready Group, AMRG, on HDR. We currently have agreed to have the term of reference okay. adopted whilst the standard operating procedure will be made available by end of this year. Through more regional initiatives, Malaysia has active member of the ASEAN Committee on Disaster Management, ACEM, fully supports the establishment of the ASEAN Coordinating Center for Humanitarian Assistance on Disaster Management, or AHA Center. It also adopts the ASEAN Standard Operating Procedure for Regional Standby Arrangements and Coordination of Joint Disaster Relief and Emergency Response Operation. SOP. The standby arrangement requires members, including Malaysia, to identify assets and voluntarily deploy them with other member states to the country that is in need of assistance. Malaysia National Disaster Command Center is linked to the AHA Center to enable share and exchange of information as an asset member state for collective benefit. Ladies and gentlemen, not limiting except to regional commitment, Malaysia has been actively participating in HDR initiative internationally, especially through initiative under the UN flagship. Malaysia has uh, participated in peacekeeping operation and HDR in Bosnia and Herzegovina during the 1992 war. We sent military doctors, male and female, to Afghanistan between 2004 and 2009 as part of the humanitarian assistance and society reconstruction work in conflict affected areas. Currently, the government of Malaysia has set up the Malaysian Field Hospital at Kok Bazar since November 2017, which is currently manned by 56 personnel. 56 personnel of which 16 are medical officers and specialists. We thank our partners in the humanitarian initiative and welcome any form of assistance and contribution from the whole international community. Ladies and gentlemen, I assure you that Malaysia has an always very good relation and are seeking to develop further collaboration with like-minded partners on expanding and strengthening HDR cooperation. We shall continue our efforts in promoting and building an open, inclusive, progressive and proactive engagement in order to ensure everyone benefits and live peacefully 
with one another in the region and the world at large. On that final note, I hope that to this seminar will enhance our knowledge through sharing of experience and exchange of views. I sincerely hope that by sharing, we are able to identify opportunities to further improve our collective effort in strengthening cooperation towards creating a more effective and efficient approach to HADR cooperation. Thank you and wabila tawfiq wa lidaya wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.